Middle East, a missile fired today from Houthi-controlled territory in Yemen missed a container ship traveling through the Bab al-Mandeb Strait. The missile landed in the water near a Hong Kong-flagged container ship that was traveling from Salal Oman to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. This is just Houthi's latest attack, the group threatening shipping in the canal waterway, in this crucial waterway. Wednesday, the group fired two missiles that missed a commercial tanker loaded with jet fuel. Monday, a missile hit a Norwegian flag tanker in the Red Sea. Here now to talk more about these ongoing attacks, News Nation National Security Contributor, retired Air Force Lieutenant General Richard Newton. Thank you, as always, nice to see you. I think it's important to talk first about the significance of this part of the region and the Red Sea and why it's so important what we've seen happen here over the last five or seven days. Well, good morning, Marnie. It is significant. Uh, it's a significant piece of uh, certain regional territory, but global territory, because of the fact that you've got uh, uh, one of the center areas of, of the world uh, for oil, but also the transition or the transfer uh, along international commerce lanes, particularly by international shipping of that oil and other commerce there. And so the, the Houthi rebels that you refer to, this Islamic rebels who are backed by Iran, uh, have, have significantly increased or intensified their attacks on commercial shipping, uh, which also puts in harm's way uh, U.S. forces serving there, specifically the USS Mason, the USS Kearney, and other ships that are in the Red Sea, to do just that, to protect U.S. vital national interest uh, and also to protect uh, that international shipping routes, which is so very important to, to international commerce and so forth. But the Houthis have really begun to you know, flex beyond just their the regional battles they've had with Saudi Arabia since 2007 or so. Um, now, the fact that they're putting in harm's way uh, international shipping. By the way, this most recent one that you, you know, referred to, that the U.S. Mason uh, has been engaged in that, uh, making sure that those parts of the seas are, are protected, uh, is a Norwegian-backed uh, oil tanker, which really has no ties to Israel at all. And so the ex expansion of the conflict and certainly uh, how the Houthis have intensified their attacks, not on a random basis, but more on a, a focused basis, I think, is, is a great concern for U.S. national interest there in the Red Sea and the Mideast overall. It's a world away, and as people watch this conflict unfold, how concerned should Americans be by what's happening specifically in this maritime region? Well, I think they should be very concerned for a couple of reasons. Number one, as I mentioned, this region is, is vital to U.S. national security interests, have been so for decades, uh, not just for oil, but also for the fact that the U.S. is, is in its strategic but global leadership role uh, has tried to maintain some monicum of peace between both allies and foes and so forth. Secondly, uh, the concern is, is that it's not just the Houthis launching you know, cruise missiles and drones, uh, uh, certainly putting in harm's way our men and women of the seas there specifically. Uh, but the fact that Iran is now seeing an opportunity with uh, the Hamas attack and perhaps the United States, uh, you know, being perceived as bogged down with supporting Ukraine vis-a-vis -vis Russia and so forth as an opening uh, to, you know, create a, a larger conflict here that would be in the best interests of Iran and the, this, this global war of terror that they're trying to conduct and so forth. Let me close on this point re regarding the region. It's not just Iran that, that's back, but their, their puppets, their Hezbollah to the north in, in, uh, in Lebanon to, of Israel, then Hamas, but also the Houthis. They're providing uh, both the technical, but the financial and, and the training for these, these Houthi rebels and others to create a, a, what some have termed a ring of fire around Israel that threatens not only Israel, but that could potentially draw in the United States into a broader conflict. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.